Welcome to Weather Extra. I'm meteorologist Mike Joyce. Just today, the city of Beaver Creek released a report on the properties that were damaged from last Monday's EF3 tornado. Here is a map showing that most of the properties are still standing, but a few were destroyed. And the properties that are in green are the ones that have minimal damage. The yellow indicates properties that are significantly damaged, but they're red destroyed and where we've seen some of that destruction is right along North Fairfield Road and Kemp Road Fire Station is 63 sustained damage. Also the Aldi at the intersection of North Fairfield and Kemp Road. But why does this happen? Why is one building OK, but the next door is destroyed? Well, it is called it is from a phenomenon in large tornadoes called suction vortices, and this is a graphic courtesy of meteorologist Brad Panovich that explains what's going on here inside a large tornado an EF3 tornado like what impacted Beaver Creek and in Montgomery County, you have smaller tornadoes. So the parent tornado that's three quarters of a mile wide is this, but inside it you have much smaller tornadoes twisting with the even higher wind. So that's where you're getting that 160, 170 mile per hour wind. It's in those suction vortices or those mini tornadoes inside the larger tornado. And where this was first really studied and discovered was way back on April 3rd, 1974, right in Xenia. Here's the video shot by Bruce Boyd, a 16 year old Xenia High School student at the time. And if you look right here, you can see that mini tornado inside the larger tornado one there and then one on the edge of the video right there. Those are the suction vortices and those are what did the most damage in Xenia back in 1974. And that's why we have houses that are completely leveled, but we also have neighbors that have houses that are still standing. 